Hello folks, and folkettes. I'm Eric Barzeski. And I'm James Hirschfeld, and we're with Golf Evolution. There's been a lot of talk lately about the D-plane and how that applies to the golf swing and the ball flight laws. There are videos out there that are 30, 40 minutes long, an hour long, and it's become overly complicated, and we want to make this as simple and as concise for you to understand so that you can teach your students. What we set up here is a plane with an arc cut out representing the path of the club head, the downswing and follow through. It's noticed the black stick would be at low point and at the further and further back on the club arc that you swing, the more and more downward you'll be hitting on the golf ball. So, nice and simply, notice that any shot struck before low point is travelling down and outward by the orange stick. The more back on the arc you hit it, notice you're hitting now more down and also more out. From the overhead view, you can see that the orange stick behind low point is not only hitting down, but out. And the yellow stick, placed further behind low point, is not only more down, but more out as well. We have a relatively steep plane here, equivalent to about a 9 iron. Let's see what happens when we flatten the plane to that of a 4 iron. So notice that now as the plane gets flatter, we're hitting less down, but more out. If the ball is struck after the low point, everything is the opposite. Instead of hitting down and out, now you'll be hitting up and in. Now that we understand the path components, let's introduce a club face. Since we know that the ball starts generally where the face is pointing, we can see that this ball would start slightly to the right of the target line and as long as the path represented by the sticks is more to the right the ball will draw back. It's about all there is to it isn't there? And it took less than an hour. If you have any questions contact us at golfevolution.com or phone us at 814-464-3446. Thanks.